Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. My name is Sarah, and I'm the health and fitness specialist in McLean, Virginia. And today we just have a quick 15-minute uh, workout of the day. This can be done anywhere, any time of the day if you don't have enough time to get in a full like 30, 45-minute workout. This is a good alternative. You're still gonna get your heart rate up. Still gonna be really active. So I hope you join me today. Um, so we're going to do four exercises. We're going to go for two rounds of 10 reps of each exercise. I'll talk you through it when we get there. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll start with our warm up. Um, so for today, we're just going to go really quickly. We're going to just do some side steps to get us moving here. You can add two or you can just go here. We're just going to go for about like 30, 45 seconds. You can do some arms, whatever feels good for you. Give me like five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So from here, arms are going to go up overhead. I'm a little bit tall, so you might not be able to see me. Uh, but we're just going to clasp those hands together and lean to one side, back to center, lean to the other side, back to center. We're going to do about five on each side. Making sure that you're breathing into the stretch, leaning to whatever feels good for you to get that nice stretch in our side. doing great people all right and relax so from here we're going to come into a wide stance and we're going to drop into a side lunge but I'm going to give a little bit of an advancement for this because yes just dropping here is going to give you a really great stretch in the adductors but if you want to make it a little bit more inclusive and get a little bit more of an intense stretch, a little bit more mobility in here. You can drop, put the hands on the floor, rotate through the foot and come back through here. But then again, if that is a little bit too intense for you, just dropping into this side lunge here works just fine as well and whatever depth you can reach is perfectly fine like if you can put your hands on the floor and get super deep here go for it if not just increase your bend in your waist just to really target those adductors or your inner thighs We'll do two more. And last one here. Good. Awesome. So from here, we're going to go into 30 seconds of speed skaters. If you can't jump or anything of that nature, we're just going to do a step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. If you want to add in the arms, it's going to look like this and touch the toe and touch the toe and touch the toe like that. If you want to go super fast, you can add a hop touch to get the heart rate up even faster. But whatever feels good for you. And we're going to go for 30 seconds on this one and then relax and then we'll get right into our workout. So in three, two, one, here we go. Breathe through this one. Go at your own pace here. Whatever feels good for you. If you want to keep the hands here, just do some light taps. Again, you can add in the hop and touch. Use the arms to propel yourself, or we can do the step touch. For three, two, one, relax. Awesome job, everybody. I hope you're feeling really
really warm, grab a sip of water, and then we'll hop right into it. So, weights are entirely optional for our exercise today. So I'll show you with weights and without what we're going to do. So, I have a pretty light to moderate dumbbell here. We're only gonna need one. And so for the first exercise, we're gonna do a sumo squat. So feet are gonna come out wider than hip distance. If you have a weight, we're gonna do a goblet hold here. Palms are gonna rest on the edge of the weight, face the sky, and then rest on the chest here. And we're going to drop into this deep squat and relax. If you don't have a weight or don't wanna use a weight, just grip your hands together at the chest. You can hand over fist, fists together, whatever feels comfortable for you here. And then just maintaining that upper body posture to squat here into this sumo squat position. So we're going for 10 reps here. I'm going to use the weight, but again, it is optional. So it's resting on my chest, palms to the sky. For 10 reps, here we go. Propel up through the weight in the heels, squeezing the glutes on the way up. Three, two, one, relax. Awesome job, everybody. So again, for the next exercise, weights are optional, but I will be demonstrating with and without. So I'm going to utilize my left leg first. Right leg is going to come back. We're going to do a single leg RDL. If you need balance using a wall or a cabinet or something that you have around you will work as well. But this is going to challenge our unilateral strength and our balance. So here we go. Foot is facing forward. Other foot is relaxed backwards. Weight, if you have one, is going to be on the same side as the leg that's backwards. So my right leg is back, weight is in my right hand. So we're gonna soft bend in the front knee, weight is going to shift forward. We're gonna have a hinge in our hip that we're going to be traveling against. So as our head drops forward, our leg is coming up as well. We are like a teeter-totter, moving on the same axle at the same time. So it's gonna look something like this. Leg's gonna be bent, weight is going to drop in front of us here. Sorry, balance is a little difficult today. But we're going to drop here and come right back up. Allow your head to relax in line with your shoulders. And again, optional weight. Without the weight, it's just gonna be the same. You can keep the hands on the hips if you'd like or continue to let that arm stay in front of you. We're gonna do five reps on each leg. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm having a hard time balancing. I'm gonna put my hand on the wall. So, you're gonna look like this with your hand on the wall. And let's go ahead and switch legs. Hands gonna be on the wall. Head and foot are moving at the same time to create this level axis here. Squeeze through the glutes on the way up. Let that weight hang heavy or not at all. And let's do one more here. And relax. So for the next exercise, 
we're going to need two dumbbells if you are to use one. So what we're going to do is a close grip chest press. So we're going to allow the weights to touch each other and come down at the same time to rest in the center of our chest. Push up and then we're going to let them fall open to the side for a fly. So that's one rep there. We're going for 10. So push up. Weights are still touching. Separate into this fly. Pull using the chest. And here we go. If you were not to use weights, fists or hands can come together. Push here on the chest, open to the side, just like so. You're still going to get that motion, still going to get a little bit of that activation that you would get from the weights without. So for the last three reps, I'm going to grab my weights back. Slow and controlled movements. And last one right here. And relax. Awesome job, you guys. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna need to be on our stomachs for this. It's going to be a around the world from on our stomach. So it's going to look something like this. We're gonna start hands on the back. We're going to move out. Rotate under, come up to rest on the head, out, flip, and down. So up with the chest, flipping out this way, palms facing down, coming to rest on the chest. I need just a half an inch more room. Propping up, out, palms down, to rest on the chest. Going for 10 here. Really squeezing the shoulder blades to propel the chest up. If you can't lift the chest up, rest the forehead on the ground and do the same motion here. All right, give me two more reps here. And last one. And relax. All right, that's round one. Let's head into our second round. Going through real quick this time. Take a sip of water if you need it, but I think we're going to do a nice speed round here and get a good cool down. So here we go. Back in with those goblet squats. Wider than hip distance with the feet, 10. Squeeze with the glutes. Two, one, relax. All right, no break here as we head into those RDLs. Again, I'm gonna use the wall. If you don't need the wall, hand can be placed on the hip. Whatever feels good for you, balance-wise. Left foot forward, right foot back. Here we go, five on each leg. And switch. Look 
looking good, everybody. And relax. All right, on the floor for our chest presses and to fly. All right, here we go here. Press down, up, fly, close together. And three, two, and last one here. Awesome job, everybody. Ditch the weights, find our stomachs for our last round of Around the Worlds. So starting on the back, lifting up. want to make this more challenging you can do it from a superman where both the legs and the chest raise but it's entirely up to you all right give me two more good ones here last one make it good and relax awesome job everybody let's get a quick cool down in just a range of four stretches, 10 second holds for each one. All right, so we're gonna start with a rhomboid stretch or a ball stretch. You're gonna reach your arms out like you're hugging a ball or a tree. Drop the chin to your chest and press out away from your body through the hands. Look something like this for 10. Three, two, one, relax. Next thing we're gonna do is stretch our upper necks. So ear is gonna drop to shoulder. I'm going to my right first, stretching the left side of my neck, right ear dropping to right shoulder. If you want to increase the stretch, prop the left arm behind your back. If you still need more, apply light pressure to the top of the head. For 10. Two, one, relax. Right arm's gonna go behind the back. Left ear's dropping the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. I'm gonna apply some light pressure to the top of my head and get a nice good stretch through the front and the side of the neck. For three, two, one, relax. So from here, you use the wall, grab a hold of one leg, pull it, heel towards the butt, and keep the knee in line with your hip, and stretch out those quads. For five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Switching sides. Grabbing that foot, heel towards the butt, knee in line with hip for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Staying on the wall. Prop your heel up. Prop your toe up against the wall and lean the body into it. Get a nice good stretch through the front calf for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax and switch legs. And relax. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed.
enjoyed our quick little workout of the day. Um, I will see you tomorrow for banded strength and mobility, but have a happy hump day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.